sim racing setup philosophy simplified untunable cars this was the original car i wanted to showcase in making this series however it is untunable much like the genesis it you can change all the numbers to whatever you want and the car relatively performs the same and i don't know why that is um I, some physics problem maybe maybe it's the weight distribution i doubt it i doubt it's like it has some weird weight distribution and and uh relatively light weight that it I don't, I don't know i don't know exactly how that could affect the way the tuning works but anyway it's just untunable and i have two two data sheets here um one's this one's over steery 5.1 and five is my preferred one, my preferred setup sheet. And I'll just scroll down through both of these. All right, so two, 210, that's my usual, uh, what do you call it, uh, frequency, natural frequency that I use. In the same range, it's usually reversed. I'd have the stiffer in the front and the softer in the rear, but this car just understeers and having the stiffer rear helps a little bit even if even if only just a little bit and this is the usual firm damper in the front soft in the rear as you can see it's reversed here because the car just understeers that much and this is significant range i'll talk about that after this uh, usual gear ratio changes uh, braking sensitivity is five. Oh, this is a the differential does it have the brake bias here? Doesn't. Anyway, the brake bias is all the way in the rear. All right, differential settings is very open because the car just understeers. Um, I don't have too much of a problem with inside tire wheel spin because it's a rear weight bias MR car. Um, and I find that it, I like a more locked acceleration sensitivity but I, I get more consistent times with the open uh, setting, the more open setting. Essentially, it's easier to go faster, and um, it's just due to the fact that the car understeers all the time. And uh, anyway, so I made this one. This is this is the preferred one, and then I made this setting with a relatively really stiff rear end and the softest front end. Still have a little bit of anti-roll in the front. Um, and this this is to make the car throttle steer more. If you have a soft front end and a stiff rear end, it'll throttle steer more easily. Even if you had uh, different roll stiffnesses in, with the anti-roll bars. And I even have a stiffer damper in the rear. This is to make it instantly respond to the throttle. If you have the stiffer if you have a stiff rear damper, compression damper, um, it'll respond more instantly to throttle input. And even though I have this basically maxed out, this could be stiffer. What is this? What is it at? 2.85. I maybe I can go to 2.85. 2.6 was par fairly unstable. I tried to make it a little bit more balanced. With a, it's not at maximum stiffness, uh, so it's a little bit easier to control on throttle. And same with the front anti-roll bar. However, um, yeah, I have the damping ratio really soft. This is the softest the compression can be in the front, and it still understeers terribly. And same differential settings. Um, I doubt it's due to aero. This track isn't very fast, so. I don't think the arrow would, and this, the, the difference between the front and rear arrow is not that high, so I don't think it's arrow understeer. Um, tires are relatively narrow. I don't, I don't remember what they are. Ooh, the width, width is, the width. I can't say that word properly. The tire widths are relatively narrow, and so these are, and they're relatively the same width. I don't know if they're exactly, so around three usual and onto the drive um, 
in both settings uh, this is not accurate right here these are different testings I, I had another a third setup that I was t testing out and this was the pass that I got on the third setup but um, both of the setups that I showed were within a tenth or so of actually no, within a hundredth maybe no wait I think this was a 988 with the stiff rear spring and I got the fastest time with my usual usual setting let me go select that one by the way so change this one select so with this setting I got this time and I'm not gonna get that right now because it took a lot of laps to get that time and almost as perfect perfect driving with the controller as possible anyway onto the drive so the car will throttle oversteer oh, and it, it does oversteer at high speed really unstable through here to be de delicate with the steering I could broke later I'm supposed to stand third time do we get? I think I'm going to do another lap. 22. I can usually average a 21. 21.7. 21 oh, too late. I'm not going to get a 21.7 on this lap with that kind of corner exit out of this turn. I'll do a third lap. So what I would prefer for this particular car is to use my wheel, obviously, but also to have a more locked differential and throttle steer, balance of the car on the throttle around the turns. But I can't do that with a controller very easily. Late on the steering, break around this line, turn in early. Car just understeers terribly.
missed my turn in point. That was a crucial one too. Let's see if I can do another lap. I want to get a 21. Missed my turning point. Oh, too wide, darn it. Maybe I can recover. I was eight tenths up, and then I'm two tenths up. Oh well, I get a 21. Good enough, it's 21.7. I don't care to go much faster. And this is just one of those untunable cars. Uh, it happens in other sims as well, where the cars just seem to understeer everywhere. And even if you have a really stiff rear end and soft, the softest front end, it still understeers. Um, I, I don't know what it is. These tires aren't particularly that grippy. These are comfort soft tires. Um, like I said, I can power oversteer, but that's actually slower to drift around the turns. I can't balance the car properly on the maximum slip angle of the rear tire. So basically it's just really hard to reach the maximum that the tires will allow through suspension tuning. And that's basically that. Um, there's not much to say. There's other cars that are, that are like this. All the, the GT cars in this game are like this. Every single one. All the, the, GT, uh, the Group 3, Group 2, Group 1, everything. They all just have this terminal understeer no matter what you do to the settings. And um, yeah, like I said, this, this was going to be the car that I was going to start from using from the beginning because it's a mid-engine car. Very light and but it's just not tunable. I can't I can't do anything to these to these settings to make it drive the way I want. Um yeah. That's about it. Till the next one.